right, guys, here we are with Leaf Warder Blessing. So this is an expert level one, but because it says Leaf Warder, that we're probably going for the one turn KO Leaf Warder Blessing, like combos that's been out there already. So it shouldn't be too much things complicated. In fact, it's not even using any of the new cards from the new set from Houses of Morrowind. And we're using um, Swindler's Market. Strategy, I personally do not like because I'm not a big fan of Swindler's Market, but I do respect like the cleverness of when I saw people do it. I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of fun and clever. So off the bat, you see yourself could charge here, don't attack. What you need to do is play down the Thieves Guild, um, Thieves Guild Fence. You're going to need to copy another one of those with Brilliant right here. You need to have two of these into play. We need to get these down to zero cost and start pulling them out once we start gaining health. So a perfect opportunity. here we go. We got two into play right here. Then we're going to equip all these here. And the way we're going to actually gain health, if you guys haven't seen right here, mechanical heart, you lighten both your own face. Break mechanical heart, gain some um, leaf order blessings. She reduces the cost down to zero. Equip them up. And then you just get them right back. From, so it's an like infinite loop right here, especially with um, some of marketing in play. It takes some time to get all this into play, but as you guys can see, we're just going to keep doing this and the play just keeps on flowing. So just keep powering up until we get to enough damage to actually go ahead and win. Or you can just keep on using Leaf Water Blessing to just keep doing this. So I hope you guys see why I kind of don't like this strategy overall in a sense. I'm not saying that it's bad if you play it. I just like, it's, it bugs me when there's like interactions like this where it makes your opponent wait a long time sometimes. And like you, they can't do anything. Just sit there and watch you do all the shit. I'm like, I, even if I could win the match, it's not just forfeit. I don't want to sit here and watch this. It's kind of like when you're playing against like an item mage. I said item age, but you know, you know, massive arms taken from the graveyard, boom, boom, boom. Like, oh my god, this is just taking forever. Like, I gotta like to live. Forfeit, move on to the next match. That's how I am with this game sometimes. At this point, it has to be fun, it has to be entertaining for me to keep on playing. If it takes too much of my time or if I just get tired, I will quit a match in a moment. I'm sorry, just me. Next one coming up now. Links in the description for the next puzzle. Let's do it.